Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancers for the week of December 13th to the 17th. This is for Cancer. And look at your overall energy, Cancer. It's you. It's the chariot. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box, Cancer, if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever here on YouTube. So, Cancer... Don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell. Like I said, your overall energy is the chariot. So forward movement, also connecting with that divinity within you and allowing it to pull you forward and trusting in that in a very balanced way. So you also have the queen of cups, which is also you, the six of swords, the brand new journey. I just heard fresh start. The Seven of Wands, the Determined Otter, and the Ten of Wands, the Overburdened Beetle. Hmm. Some of you could be moving because of a work situation I'm getting. I do feel as far as love is concerned, you are a little bit guarded here, but you're not giving up. You're seeing, you, you know, you know something is out there. That's what I'm getting. And you're going to find this place of peace and have a victorious outcome in everything, in your work situation, in love, in the end. Not overnight, obviously, but tell me about the chariots. Tell me about the chariot for cancer. Tell me about the chariot. If you had a question and you came to this reading for that, the answer is no. You have the lovers, Ooh. <laughs> and you have the seven of cups. So Cancer, you're going to have a lot of options in love, but you will figure out and choose somebody because you do have forward movement with the chariot. It could be you're choosing somebody at a distance. Okay. That explains also the Ten of Wands, how this has really become a burden for you, this choice. Um, and it may even be choosing from more than two people. You have the Kipper. And you've got the Lovers on top of the Lovers. So very strong connections here. Or at least one is. The one that you choose definitely is. Could be a soulmate. Possible twin. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. We have the King of Swords, okay. The Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I'm getting Libra energy. So, ooh. And the Tower. You may have an option coming in that you don't expect. I feel like cancer this is what I'm feeling that you're gonna have more than one option and then you're gonna have another option that comes in that's just going to shock the shit out of you okay and the one that comes in out of nowhere I'm feeling may be the one gift oh boy see all right this is why you couldn't choose. This is exactly why you couldn't choose. If you've been feeling stuck cancer, like you don't know who to choose, maybe you're dating a couple of people and you're feeling stuck, it's because you know neither one of them is the option. When this person comes in, you're going to know immediately and you're going to move. That's why that chariot is here. You're going to move. You're going to make that decision. 
you know it's an opportunity and you're jumping on it. You're both going to know. It's not, it's not just you. You're not in it alone. Six of Swords, the brand new journey. And that's when you're going to, you're going to get rid of, see, that's why that said no, because all of these options before this person comes in, it's no, you already know that. You already know. It's it's like you're you knew, but you didn't. I don't know. I don't know if you were gonna settle or whatnot. The Ten of Swords here is clarifying the Six of Swords. So yeah, you're gonna have to put an end to these other relationships. Mm, hidden inner strength, the shadow cats. And the Three of Cups, the Trinity Triangle. I feel like one of these may have been even a possible reunion with somebody from the past. And you're going to have to say no. And you're going to have to find strength. I feel like that was an option because it felt safe. It felt, you know, familiar. That's what I feel that was. But... There's just this knowing when this comes in that you can't deny. You can't deny. And that's going to give you, that knowing is what's going to trigger that inner strength. That inner, yeah, the hidden inner strength here. The shadow cat. Message of concern. Oh boy. Okay. Be careful about feeling guilty. Because I feel like you may get some lashback from ending it with these people. Okay. Specifically with somebody you were going to reunite with. They may try to make you feel guilty. And this, this, I see you getting a lot of messages from one particular person uh, trying to make you feel guilty, trying to, you know, just trying to project their pain onto you. Don't, you know, when you end it, it's it's done. There is no discussion after that, really. There is no need for discussion. You know your path. You absolutely know your path. And why would they want you if you tell them, listen, you know, I feel like I was settling. And that has nothing to do with them. And everything to do with you and what you're looking for, right? All right, so tell me about the Seven of Wands, the Determined Otter. See, there's that, it's that inner determined determination, that seeing something just beyond and knowing that what you want is there, but not being able to touch it, to feel it, to uh, put a tangibility to it, right? And then it shows up. And that's why you didn't decide. Seven of Pentacles. See? The rewarded frog. Having patience. You have a spiritual connection with this person. It may be a twin. doesn't have to be. I just feel like there's an instant connection here. It could even be serendipitous. They just said. Uh, and what a beautiful season to have that happen in Christmas. Hermit. The inner master. Yeah, you've been trying to manifest this, whether you know it or not, you know, and you put this off because, because of this patience. And I feel like it's, it's, it was your higher self, actually, page of pentacles. Yeah. It's like, you knew this jewel was just there. You didn't know where it was. You didn't know when it was going to show up, but you, you knew at least your higher self knew your higher self could see and was like, hold off. Hold off. Don't choose. Don't say yes to this mess. No. Don't say yes to the mess. See? Great fortune. And what I'm feeling here is just that you're going to feel so fortunate when this happens. Like, oh my God. Dreams come true. My dream. You dream lover, right? <laughs> Your dream lover does come rescue you. And, and 
in, the, in a sense, not that they're they're rescuing you in the way that you understand now why this was a no and you knew it. That's Teddy snoring. All right, tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Cancer. Tell me about oh, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm, the El Caution, the Heedful Mouse. Yeah, see, that's what, you know, it's almost like you were cautious. You were cautious. Because the snake could have eaten you alive. And, and it would have been yourself. Like you are the mouse and you are the snake by settling. Okay, because nobody would make you settle. You would choose it. So you have the Six of Cups, the Reuniting Waterhole, and I feel like the Six of Cups, okay, Knight of Pentacles, this is why you're taking your time. This Six of Cups is, well, twofold. I do feel that this person is a past life soulmate, but I also feel it's representing this other person, one of these options being your past here. Okay, and the, the caution is right next to that, actually. So this is why you were taking your time and it pays off. It pays off. It's the rewarded frog here, that seven of pentacles, taking your time. That just, wow. Oh boy. All right, can I have a kipper on this? Yep, you knew your ships were coming in. You knew your person was out there. And you also knew at a deep, deeper level, at a soul level, that nobody in these options was that person. You knew it. You just knew. And, and I feel like this is going to happen. This person is going to come in. It's, it's like when you're just like, you know, I think I'm going to give up, you know, I think I'm just going to choose from, from these people. And then boom, it's like, as soon as you give up and this is the way it always happens, that's when it shows up. Free associate, allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. Okay, they're wanting you to connect to the cosmos, they just said. They want you to connect to what's out there. All right, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Interesting, right? All right, Cancer, I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have been. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment, Cancer. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great week and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.